Indonesia has fallen into recession, uh, it's first in over two decades. Right. Economic experts in Indonesia say if RCEP is successful, Indonesia may be able to get out of recession uh, through cooperation with China and other bigger economies. Uh, do you agree with this? And if yes, how soon and how exactly will this be realized? No, I think we already started to bouncing back our economy. So with the uh, RCEP being signed uh, early this month, this is, will create a golden momentum as well. It will accelerate the process of bouncing back. As you know that uh, at least RCEP, it's contributed to the almost 30% of the global economy. I do believe that since Indonesia, one of the initiators of the RCEP, we should get the benefit. And with the omnibus law that now being uh, adopted by Indonesian parliament, we do hope that invest not only from China but from other countries as well will come and invest in Indonesia. Uh, of course, um, China's investor coming to Indonesia invest in the area in which will give us the more value added to our product from mineral resources to become semi semi product of or finished products. So, from that perspective, uh, we would like to see more and more uh, investor coming from China. Number two is on the digital economy. Digital economy in China already contributed to the 32 percent of the GDP. In our case, three percent. And we've been predicted that Indonesia will become a leader on digital economy in the future within five years time to so 2025. The value of the digital economy in Indonesia will be approximately 930 to 150 billion US dollar. And it will contribute around nine to 10 percent. So this is the leapfrog from three percent within five years time to nine percent. So within that context, we would like to establish a better cooperation with the, with the leading countries in the digital economy. And one of the leading countries is China.